My name is Lieutenant Rich Doyle. I'm the uh, pilot for the F-14 Tomcat. Up front, I'm doing the uh, actually all the piloting with the uh, stick and throttle. This is Lieutenant Bill Lynn. He's the radar intercept officer, the back seater, does the navigation in the airplane. The airplane was actually built as a 2.4 person cockpit, uh, meaning it takes about that many people to do all the jobs that this airplane can do. Uh, Libby, you want to talk about your job a little bit? I'm responsible for uh, running uh, the radar, the weapon systems, uh, the majority of the navigation, and all of uh, the communications gear in the back. Uh, I'm also uh, back up to Rich as a co-pilot. Our Tomcat has been cleared for takeoff. Final cockpit checks are complete. Watch as Lieutenant Doyle advances the throttles of the two Pratt & Whitney TF-30 afterburning turbo fans and accelerates down the runway, becoming airborne in less than 1,500 feet. Listen to 35,000 pounds of thrust pushing 30 tons of airplane into the sky over Westfield. a quick wee precision the tomcat returns to show center from the left performing a series of turns called a flat eight this maneuver will provide you with an all aspect view of the tomcat take note of the glow coming from the afterburner cans of each engine indicating that full afterburner has been selected while in full afterburner the tomcat is burning over 2,000 pounds or 300 gallons of fuel per minute Two seats up here, we have uh, two ejection seats. You'll see the yellow handles up on the top. That uh, We pull either one of those. It's gonna get both uh, crew members out of the airplane in case of emergency. We have a, a gun just under the 222 number there. You'll see a metal plate. The gun is internal to the airplane itself. Here the airplane is uh, Mach 2 plus capable. Altitude's up to about a ceiling of 50,000 feet or so. We use this for air to air, uh, air to ground. We go out and drop bombs. It's a uh, bomb cat these days. It uh, transitioned over a few years back just to uh, help extend the life of the airplane. It does precision guide munitions now. You saw a lot of that during uh, Desert Storm. All the uh, TV footage of the bombs going down and uh, taking out all the targets. Well, that's what this airplane is capable of using now. So it continues to upgrade even though it is getting older. The F-14 Tomcat, built by Grumman Aerospace Corporation, incorporates the Hughes Aircraft AWG-9 weapon system. Its sophisticated weapons control system can track 24 individual targets at ranges greater than 100 miles, then launch and guide missiles at any six of those targets simultaneously. The Tomcat has four different weapons, Phoenix, Sparrow, and Sidewinder missiles, plus a 20 millimeter cannon with a rate of fire of 6,000 rounds per minute. Utilizing tactics begun in the Gulf War and with the addition of the Lantern laser targeting pod, the Tomcat is now the premier precision strike platform in the Navy capable of carrying a wide array of air-to-ground ordnance, including conventional bombs, rockets, and cluster munitions. The F-14 is the largest of any U.S. Navy fighter, measuring 62 feet long, only two feet shorter than a DC-3, with a wingspan of 64 feet, wings fully extended. Approaching from the right, the Tomcat, knife edge, wing sweep pass. The degree of sweep of the variable geometry wing is controlled by a mock sweep programmer. The wings fully forward are at 20 degrees of sweep. Full aft is 68 degrees. On the carrier, to store airplanes, we don't have a whole lot of room on the flight deck. With the wings swept back like that, we can put more airplanes on the carrier deck. Noting the uh, landing gear there, it's all beefed up performance, and that's to land aboard the carrier. Obviously, our uh, gear and tires are a lot uh, heavier equipped than the Air Force. They don't need uh, the short runways like we do. We're basically doing a controlled crash when we land on the carrier. Popeye and Libby are configuring their Tomcat for a simulated approach to an aircraft carrier at 130 miles per hour. Approaching center point, Lieutenant Doyle will take a simulated wave off, select full afterburners, and accelerate away from the deck. You have your tail hook between the uh, exhaust pipes here, and this is what drops down and stops the airplane when we come aboard the, the aircraft carrier. This will drop down, you got the hook point here, we've got four wires we'll catch when we come aboard the boat, and you're looking for number three optimally, but you'll take any one to just get that airplane stopped and get you on deck. Gunfighter, 222, three-quarter mile, call of all. 
You want to see what power is in the Tomcat. There you go. The exhaust here, we've got the uh, Pratt & Whitney engines, a fairly powerful motors that uh, let this airplane be able to do its Mach 2 plus performance. They're setting up for another high speed brake and uh, you may see them actually squeezing the moisture out of the air. Watch for the traces of vapor from the wing tips from the F-14. This airplane is the uh, biggest dream come true I could ever have. If you've ever been on the uh, best roller coaster you've imagined in the world, times that by about 100, especially when you're working off the carrier, taking catapult shots off the front of the boat, and the landings are pretty uh, challenging as well. I've got about 300 landings on the, air, uh, on the aircraft carrier, over 100 of those at night. The night ones never get any easier, but uh, just part of the job. The airplane is the Grim Reapers. Back when it was VF-6, one of the junior officers in the uh, squadron had a friend who was an artist, and the guy drew uh, what he thought the Grim Reapers thing should look like, what their device should look like. And you see it's a skeleton with the wings and the sides and like that, you see the Grim Reaper? The uh, original artwork now hangs in the uh, family room of uh, retired Vice Admiral Flatley. It was his father that had uh, gotten the original artwork done, and the artist's name was Walter Elias Disney. Walt Disney did the original artwork, and that's what you see on the tail of the Grim Reaper's airplane. 